Well, students in Perry County returned to class this Friday. Now, this is the school district's first year using a modified schedule, which will give longer breaks throughout the school year. And 12 News, Brandon Rain shows us what students have to look forward to this school year. Perry County Schools will be opening their doors a little early this fall. The school year will begin Friday, July 28th. The school district is using a modified schedule, which allows for more breaks throughout the year. We are using it just purely as a breather, a break, to give our teachers and our students a time period in between each grading period to refresh, regroup, come back stronger. Superintendent Dr. Titus Hines says he thinks the schedule will help improve attendance and burnout. We, we see it start around October time, just before Thanksgiving break. Teachers start to feel burnout. Um, students start to feel it. I think that having that break will encourage students to be more attentive, more um, engaged and aware of their attendance. The school district is also implementing new programs. For the first time, students at Perry Central High School will get a real-life glimpse into the newsroom. Their new broadcast journalism class will allow students to write, edit, produce, and anchor their own daily newscast. The students that will be involved in this program are going to learn uh, what narrative writing looks like, investigation of stories, reporting, uh, speech communication, oral communication, and written communication. The school is building a full studio complete with an anchor desk, cameras, and weather wall. Students will get the chance to report live from the field. On our Friday nights, uh, we will have our Perry Central uh, tailgate stand where we will uh, broadcast live uh, on our home football games. The journalism program is in partnership with the University of Southern Mississippi. Reporting in Perry County, Brandon Rains for 12 News.